Good afternoon and welcome to the Rodman Arena here in Walpole, Massachusetts for a Southeastern Mass Girls Hockey League Division II West matchup between the Mansfield Wolverines Foxborough Warriors and the Westwood Wolverines. The puck has been dropped up front here for Moa. We have number 21, Madison Howie, number 14, Jamie Gottwald, and number 23, Mackenzie Frazier on defense. We have number 19, Taylor Frazier, and number 28, Lizzie Miller. Joining me up above ice here is uh, Chris Brolin on the camera out of Foxborough, and Kevin Gottwald, uh, one of the parents here of the, one of the Mower players, Jamie Gottwald, number 14. This is Bill Luciano, and my daughter's number 14 on the team. Uh, both teams coming into this matchup uh, after already playing a game earlier in the year. Moa lost that game four to three. It was a tight match. Well, I want to thank you for having me here today. And uh, as you were saying, that was a tight match and a great game. Uh, Moa unfortunately lost that one four to three and, and had some real good scoring opportunities in the late minutes. So we look forward to a good game here tonight. You know, I'm thinking, Kevin, um, I saw the uh, the number of shots on net. It looked like Moa had uh, had quite a few more shots on net than Westwood in that game, but uh, just came up uh, a little short on the scoring end of things. Uh, both teams coming with similar records. Uh, West was coming in with, a th with three wins, three losses, no ties in their league, in the uh, S SEM GHL League, and uh, Moa comes in with a record of three wins, four losses, and one tie. Got some great forecheck in there. Yeah, and you'll see here, um, Kevin and I have been uh, at all the games this year so far for uh, the Mower Warriors team, and uh, some games they'll roll three, four, even five lines. Other games they'll roll two. Today it looks like uh, we're here at Teacher Appreciation Night. We'll probably see a good solid four lines the first period. I would think so. We'll let everyone get a taste of the ice. So right now on the ice for uh, the Moa Warriors, Bryn Levine, number four, uh, Christina O'Connell, number five, and I'm not sure who else is up front here, Kevin. Um, you know, there we go. You know, the key to the game is to limit the shots here. You're right, you're limit right. Limit the shots on the goalie. Uh, if we can do that, I think we've got a pretty good chance of, uh, of winning this one. Kenzie Frazier with the puck just inside the circle to the, to the left excuse me, to the right of the Westwood goalie. Puck goes back to the Moa. I think that's Lizzie Miller. Zone, you're right, number Tries 20. To feed Jamie Gottwald, unfortunately she missed on that one. But Lizzie's back there to collect the rebound. Uh, with the puck right now is Jamie Gottwald, number 14, a uh, uh, product of the Oliver Ames High School, uh, taking it into the zone, taking a quick shot, goes wide left, but good move by Jamie. Got to get some shots on there, right? We've got to test their goalie. Like you said, Kevin, the important thing here is to have more shots on net than our opponent here against Westwood and to limit the shots on uh, our goalie. And I will mention uh, um, our goalie. Uh, Haley Dalton. Yeah, Haley Dalton. She's done a great job this season. She's really worked her craft in the offseason. And uh, she's doing great for us. So on the, on, on the front line right now for Moore, we'll have Catherine Luciano, number 10, on the right wing, Lily Feeney, number three at center, and number eight, Heather Bubensik, uh on the left. That's a complete uh, Foxborough front line there, Kevin. Heather did a nice job of keeping that in, keeping this nice, play alive. Nice pass oh. by Feeney over to Luciano. Luciano couldn't stuff it in. She's, Luciano sends it back it to Bubensik. Right? Yeah, Bubensik tries to get a shot off, but gets blocked. Some good back check in there. Feeney will take it back into the Westwood zone, take a quick shot, goes high over the net. Looking for that top corner. Luciano will battle onto the sideboard. Westwood clears it into the neutral zone. Shannon Griffin handle that puck, another senior who's done a great job this season. Well, there's a goal, Kevin. Uh, case in point, put the shot on net, and we, that was more just like a push. Number four, Bryn Levine, I think, put that home. That might be unassisted. And I will say, I was going to mention earlier, Bryn Levine is...
Dean is kind of the heartbeat of this team, you know? She's a little scrapper. She's always in there, and the girls seem to love her, and they feed off her. Well, I'll tell you what. She went to the net, like you said earlier, got the shot on net, and it was a little, I think it was a five-hole, and uh, I don't think the goalie was ready for it, and Bryn uh, will put the Mansfield all the Reigns Foxborough team, Moa up one nothing with 10.35 left in the first period. Good start for Foxborough. Excuse me, not for, good start for Moa, the Moa Warriors. On defense right now, we have number 19, Taylor Frazier. And Lizzie Miller back there, chasing after that puck. The nice. goalie for uh, the Westwood team, Kevin, uh, did look up online. They did not have a roster, but the goalie's name was Caroline McDonough. She's a freshman. And I think she's got most of the uh, time in net for, uh, for Westwood. I'm actually looking at the bench right now. I don't think I see another goalie on that bench. Do you? No, I do not. So they, they're, they're sporting one goalie. Look at Jamie Gottwell tying up that puck in front. Tying up that player, rather. Forcing him to play that puck. A nice job winning the faceoff, and now we control the puck in the zone. Pops out to uh, the neutral zone. Sent over to Frazier. Westwood, pretty good breakout, I've, some I've noticed. Here. Has some numbers. They need to limit those shots. Nice job by Lizzie right there. Nice pass between the legs by Westwood, but it was picked up. I think, as you said earlier, just again, limiting shots on goal here, which the defense needs to be doing, Kevin, early on. Lizzie Miller will try to set up the boards, but it's blocked on the way out. Number 23, Mackenzie Frazier in the corner along with Gottwald. A little, little rough house in there, but they're okay. Puck pops out, Westwood controls it. Someone's gotta get on her. Back to the point. You know, we, we really need these forwards to cover the D. Oh, there you go, that was a big break. They had some good pressure. Number 21, Madison Howie chases it into the neutral zone. Westwood dumps it in, gets a change. That's it, right? Keep it going right around the boards. You don't wanna be doing that fancy stuff there. Get it out of there, right? That's right, we have, uh, I think we have Luciano, Bubensic, and Feeney back on up front. Very strong line here. That was Shannon Griffin um, and number 18, Ali Delano on defense. Luciano will take it through the neutral zone, dump it into the Westwood zone. She'll chase it. Feeney will stay out to the top of the circle. It's quite the line here. That line is, uh, I, you know, I don't have the stats off the top of my head, but they've tallied quite a few goals for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have um, on this team, Kevin, we talked about it before, you have a handful of kids who play together in different organizations. We have four or five girls that play for the Walpole Express. Uh, we have four girls that play for the Massachusetts Spitfires. And when they're on the ice together, uh, they usually work well. So Feeney will take the face off, Luciano to her right, Bubensic to her, excuse me, Luciano to her left, Bubensic to her right. Feeney wins the face off, Luciano sends it back quickly to number 28, Lizzie Miller. She can't get the shot off. Feeney will take it Wind into her own zone. Yeah. Sends it up go. to Luciano. Nice she has a lot of space. Luciano will cut. Oh, nice move. Whatever. Luciano on the backhand there, Kevin. Not a lot of juice on it, but uh, a shot on net nonetheless. That's right. That's right. That's what we Just keep getting them on the net. Good things will happen. Looks though she's given up a few rebounds so far tonight, so uh, I think we need to really play, play that up. So they just announced the goal here, Kevin. Uh, Bryn Levine with the goal, like we thought, and um, Griffin, number 17, with the assist. Here we go, Bryn again. Number 16, Isabel Chandler out in front, trying to position herself there to get the pass from Bryn. Westwood breaks it out through the neutral zone. Taylor Frazier out in front of the net. Wow. That was the a big icing call right there. They had some numbers. Just took, seemed like it took a long time for that puck to get to the end. Uh, Kevin, I didn't think that was going to get there, but it did. So we get a face off all the way into the Westwood zone to the left of McDonough, the freshman goalie for Westwood. Well, one of the, uh, one of the stronger defensemen is the senior out of Foxborough, I believe she is, Jen Dooley. I have not seen her on the ice tonight. Um, you know, I did hear uh, that she was not feeling well this week, and it's possible she didn't dress for the game. I did see her today. Uh, tonight is Teacher Appreciation Night, and all the students were able to invite a teacher from their respective schools to come to the game, uh, take a picture with the player, um, take a team picture as well, and then watch the game. Um, and Jen is here, but maybe she didn't dress. Oh, that's, a, that's a big loss for us. I can tell you that. She's quite the player. If Gottwald charging on the ice here, breaks up the play immediately at the blue line. Sends it in towards the net. He's got to keep that in. 
Frazier does, sends it over to Gottwald. Gottwald tries to center it, no one home. West with the breakout. I'll tell you, you West. Get on her, right? Get on her. Limit those shots. Huh? Oh, 23, whoever that was. Just made a McKen great play Mackenzie Frazier with this, picked up the stick of the uh, rushing forward, is able to break that up quickly, and Jamie Gottwald bringing it into the zone. Frazier will chase. Westwood breaks it out. Back to the icing. Nope, they wave that off. It's not going to reach. Shannon Griffin and number 20, Danae Rieger. Danae Rieger um, out of Foxborough High School. Shannon Griffin out of Mansfield. That's been a pretty good defensive pair this year as well. Uh, the senior Shannon and the freshman Danae. The puck breaks out. Good opportunity there for Moa to break that out. Uh, but not able to collect it at the center ice. Luciano will take it up the Let boards here. Here we go, look at that. Luciano to Feeney. numbers here. She has Bubesic to her right. Pass it over to Bensic. Oh, oh what, a what a save. Tell you what, Kevin, like you said, this is a really strong line. Luciano set that up to Feeney. Feeney took it all the way in, waited to the last possible second, drew the defenseman in. And she, she slipped it over to uh, number eight, Bubensic. And Bubensic was, got the shot and just a great save by the goalie. Right, and I think uh, Bubensic saw that hole open net and just kind of probably should have put a little bit more on it and would have got fired, but that was uh, no taking anything away from that goalie. That was quite the save. You know, quite the save. And you know what? It was it was great uh, a great effort by the Moa uh, forward line there. Again, Lily taking it all the way in and Bubensic charging down the right-hand side, knowing that Lily would get it to her. You don't get you don't get much many opportunities like that, Kevin. That was a great save by Lagoli. That sure was. Feeney on the faceoff comes out Gotta out of the zone. Number 28, Lizzie Miller gets go. gets it over to Feeney. Feeney will take it to the neutral zone. She has Bubensic and Luciano to her We're right. Feeney again. will take the shot. Whoa, wow. That was quite the shot there. Top left corner. Well, Feeney actually took it uh, from the neutral zone into the Westwood end, uh, saw some, an opening, and... Uh And uh, didn't give up to the, you know, in I think high, le high left hand corner, right, Kevin? Is that where it was? Yes, it was. And I think the goalie might have been thinking about the last play. Again, Bobensic was breaking in on that uh, far side, wasn't sure how to play it. And uh, this time, Feeney decided to keep it, and uh, it, paid, uh, it paid dividends. So, again, Kevin, we talked earlier, Fox, uh, me, uh, Moa, the Moa team played a tight game against this team uh, just two weeks ago and lost four to three, but now we're five minutes and 37 seconds remaining in the first period, and they're up two nothing, and I think it's all about coming out uh, aggressively in the first uh, first frame here. And ready to play, ready to go. Big icing call right there. Yes, and I was at that game, uh, and uh, I can tell you, you know, they struggled. They struggled with some tough penalties and some tough calls, and uh, I think they felt they, they were fighting both uh, the Westwood team and the referees that day. I, I, uh, I'm not one to blame anything on the refs, and I won't, but I think the refs might have gotten their head that night, and they played, uh, they played uh, not up to their par. Well, you're a little distracted, worried about the refs as opposed to playing the exactly. game. Exactly, yes, that was. Nice job there by number 17, the senior from Mansfield, Shannon Griffin, to keep the puck in the Westwood zone. That's Shannon Griffin, she's been a four-year starter for us. There we go, got walled in. Gottwald off the bench and was able to grab that. She's looking, she's looking, dumps it in, dumps it in low there. Jamie Gottwald, really uh, another four-year starter here, Kevin, uh, with well over 100 points in her career at the, at, at, on the MOA team, which is a real uh, feather in her cap. 100 points anywhere is, uh, is really admirable. And um, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think she plays on the Massachusetts Spitfire's U19 team that's going to play the Nationals in Vermont later this year. That is true. Yep, they're heading up there. Uh, they're heading up to Burlington, Vermont. Come on, this isn't time to give it up late in this period here. There was a quick, a quick shot there by Westwood on uh, the Moa goalie, Dalton. She kicks it to the right. But a little sloppy there, Bill. 
There we go. So the goal was scored by, oh, well, we'll talk about this. Luciano bringing it to the zone, has Feeney with her. She'll keep it herself, shoots, goes wide left. Feeney will go in the corner along with Luciano. Two Spitfires work well together. Luciano will stick handle in the corner. Comes around to Feeney. Feeney spins back around, takes a quick shot, saved by the goalie. Again, number 19, Taylor Frazier keeps it in. Luciano will chase it up on the boards along with Bubensic. Luciano will pick it up, take it all the way up the top circle in the slot, takes a quick shot. And nice save by McDonough, the goalie for Westwood. So good, good movement of the puck there by Moa and kept the puck in their zone, Kevin, probably for a good 30, 40 seconds there. Bill, and I'm, I'm also watching, if you watch these, uh, the forwards for Westwood, they're staying down low. If, if uh, we can get some pucks out to some of the... The strongest shooter on defense, I think they can put them in in some traffic and maybe get some scoring opportunities that way. Yeah, from the point, we don't, uh, as you know, every game's different in this league, and uh, getting shots from the point, and so, again, some teams is not feasible, but I think you're right, here it is, for sure. There you go, there's a shot from the point from Taylor yep. Frazier, number 19, and a, kind of a strange bounce. Goalie had a little bit of trouble with that. Yep, and we got a little traffic in front of that net. I think we can slide another one in there. So they just announced the goal, the second goal for the Moa Warriors, which was at 5.30 of the second period, uh, making it 2-0 uh, Moa versus Westwood here. The second goal was scored by Feeney, assisted uh, by Luciano and Jen Dooley. Excuse me, excuse me. The goal was by Feeney, assisted by Luciano and Frazier. Oh, you had my hopes up there. I was thinking Dooley was on the ice and I missed her, but uh, that's okay. D just needs to step it up. Number 16, Izzy Chandler keeps that puck in nicely. He sends yep. it over to number five in the corner. Is that Christina O'Connell? Christina's yep. done a great job. This whole, this whole line's done a great job. You know, they're not out there. Uh, they're not out there on every game, every shift. You know, sometimes they get mixed up, but they're always ready to go when they get the opportunity. Look at that goalie covering up. Right? See, seemed like she had some time there to kind of send it over to her defenseman, but she decided to cover it up. We'll have a face off to the left of the Westwood goalie. So Kevin, uh, both teams play in the Southeastern Massachusetts Girls Hockey League, a Division II West. And um, you've been doing this for a lot of years. This is your fourth year with uh, uh, a daughter on the team. Um, do the West teams, they, they have rankings to get into the playoffs? Is that how it works? Based right. You know what it is? I think it's uh, you. You get an automatic bid if you get ten. If you if you get ten wins, you're in the playoffs. And then I believe there's one or two uh, uh, invitations. You know, maybe you have nine wins. All right. Uh, but you, your opponents have been strong. Um, so, but it is a ten-win requirement. Oh, th that's good. I was not aware of that. That makes sense. So you get ten wins, you get in, and. And you get seated appropriately, probably based on the number of the wins you had. We got quite the turnout with the teaching night, don't we? Right. Uh, Westwood has a decent crowd, and, and obviously Moa, again, with three different teams represented here, you tend to have uh, uh, decent crowds for sure. And a lot of teachers uh, wearing the, their respective players' shirts uh, in the stands. It's kind of fun to see. Luciano will kick it in to the Westwood zone. Bubens and Caffini will chase with her. Feeney kicks it back to Luciano. Bubensic out front from the net. Number six on defense, Emily Bubensic, along with number 20, Danae Rager. Rieger. Quick Whoa. shot by Bubensic and a follow up shot by Feeney. And the net was off, Kevin. Okay. And it was a really quick whistle. They had blown the whistle before the second shot was taken. You quick. know, as you mentioned, I have been with this team for four years. And I will, get, I will tell you that they're typically a slow starter as far as uh, wins in the beginning of the season. And then they seem, for some reason, one reason or another, they seem to gel and really come together. I know, you know, we've made the playoffs a couple times in, our, in our Jamie's tenure here. And, you know, they started off with struggling and, and by mid to late season, they're really in form. Well, you know, that goes... Uh Again, when you have a cooperative team like this, maybe you need those extra weeks to get the teams working together. A lot of players who haven't played together before. Um, maybe that's uh, what uh, what we need here because I, I, I've seen a, a, a marked improvement uh, in the team's play in the last three weeks. Westwood on the move. Well, this, is a, well, 
Oh, nice. What a stop. Beautiful. Now, this is one time you don't want to give up a... Oh, come on, you can reach... Uh, that looks like that might be an icing call. Luciano will chase it down. The other going to... 59 seconds left here in the first period. Kevin, you're right. I knew you were going to say you don't want to give up a late goal. No, that would be a backbreaker. Right now, you know, the coaching staff of... Uh, of uh, Moa should hopefully put some players out there. Just clear it out. We'll take a few icings in a row. Anything. Last thing we want to do right now is give up a goal. So, like I said, the Haley Dal Dalton made a great save. She went down on the initial play, but uh, the shot came high, and she uh, used her blocker and kicked it up over the net. Uh, great save. Now we just got to ice that right out of the zone. We have Whatever Dene it takes. Danae Rager, Danae Rieger, and Shannon Griffin on defense here, trying to keep the puck away from the goalie. Nice pass by the Westwood forward, oh, Kevin. That sure was. Come on, West get that out of the zone. Westwood keeps it in. Chip back, Danae Rager will chase it down behind the net. She'll try to skate it out a little bit. Sends up the boards to number five. That's out of the zone, Bill. Christine O'Connell. Was got that out? Clear. 30 seconds left in the period, Kevin. Uh, Moa really looking to just hold on to this 2-0 lead. Get into the locker room. Clock stops with 24 seconds. Uh, Bill, I'll be honest with you. I'd like to see a line change here. Uh, they've been out there for a little bit. I think, yeah, there you go. You got what you wanted. So it's all the way down. I'm not too sure what happened there. It looks like an equipment issue or something. They're pointing at one of the uh, players. A penalty, Bill. I didn't mm -hmm. see it. Um, I'm getting some information. There too many men on the ice, actually. Wow. That was a big call. So, actually, you're right. They rolled out uh, the line of Feeney, Chandler, and Luciano. Look along with. They put Gottwald back on the point. So Gottwald's wow. shot. Loose puck out in front. Westwood tries to clear. Someone's got to get that. Gottwald breaks up at the neutral zone, tries to send it in, working hard with the body there. Yeah, Good we work. Got nine seconds. We Luciano have... sends it over to Chandler. Chandler shoots, gets blocked. Four seconds, Kevin. Good shot from the point. Well, Kevin, good period. Nonetheless, Foxborough, sure excuse me, the Mansfield, Olive Reigns, Foxborough Warriors will take a 2 0 lead into uh, the locker room. Uh, be interested to see what the shots on net tally was that period. We'll have to check that. So we'll go into this. We'll come into the second period here with Westwood uh, on the uh, penalty kill with a minute seven le left on that hooking call uh, to the Westwood player. And as is in girls hockey, which is different in boys high school hockey, um, you don't clear the ice between every period. You clear the ice between the second and third period. So we'll be moving right into action here promptly. And I know the refs, we had a little bit of delay in the beginning of the game, Kevin, getting this started because of teacher appreciation night. So uh, they're moving pretty quickly. We did skip the national anthem. So if you did notice on that last play with Gottwald back there on uh, on D, she, she, she ran around the, the boards over there and kind of was uh, very powerful against one of the Westwood girls. And she's been victimized about that a lot this season about that. I will say, uh, Jamie plays pretty physical and uh, the refs have been really calling her. Uh, in my opinion, unjust. That's part of her game, and uh, I think it's been uh, kind of hamstringing her a little bit. Well, you know, Kevin, we, we spoke about this. I mean, Jamie plays uh, on a, a select team, the Massachusetts Spitfires, at a very high level, and many times um, when you play at a higher level in girls' hockey, there's just a lot of uh, body work, a lot of uh, pushing, a lot of uh, actually almost checking. So going from a competitive uh, high-end hockey scenario like that to... Um, high school hockey, where the refs probably call it a little closer, it's kind of hard to make that adjustment. But I'm thinking I'm seeing as each game goes along, she's starting to learn what she can and can't do in this league versus what she does in the Spitfires. And that is true, Bill. We all know that, that there is no checking in girls' hockey, but be sure there is some rubbing, hitting, and uh, it's a lot rougher than most people think. Those girls really, uh, all, each and every one of them out there, they really, they really work at their craft, and, and it's a tough sport. Yeah, I'd like to, again, like to see what the sh uh, shots on net were here in the first period, um, just to feed it to the the viewers. We'll see if we can get that between the second and third period. When we, we have a statistician to run that up to us. Matter of fact, I'm looking for our statistician right now. Can't quite see that person, but uh, matter of fact, we probably have to do that ourselves. So we're going to kick this thing off. Uh, welcome back to the second period action here. Again, we're at the Rodman Arena, the Westwood Wolverines versus the Mansfield Olive Rains Foxborough Warriors in a Division II Southeastern Massachusetts Girls Hockey League matchup. Good move by 
is that Gottwald sends it over to Feeney. Feeney keeps it in. Feeney's going to try to get the shot off from just in the slot. She passed oh. over to Luciano. Nice pass by Feeney. Luciano has, back it, to the point. Luciano has it behind the net. Brings it out, takes a quick shot, bounces off the goalie. Keep that in, right? Fought. Oh. And Westwood alertly clears that on the penalty. So they're looking to get out of this uh, penalty without oh. any damage. 20 seconds left, Kevin, on the penalty with 14 10 left in the second period. Yeah, I think Jamie Gottwell just missed a forward break in there, and uh, unfortunately, we had an icing call. You know, I always find that uh, if you're going to get a penalty, splitting it up, you know, halfway between periods uh, is kind of good for the, 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 the team that's at a disadvantage. You know, because we're still getting our legs under us for the, between that break, and it, uh, it's a good time for a, per, for, for a penalty. Yeah, and you really can't get uh, get into a rhythm when you Correct. was broken up twice. Number 20, Danae Rieger, will chase into the corner for, for Moa. Cleared by Moa, number 12, Kaylee O'Hara. I know Kaylee's been with the squad for four years. That's right, she's another... Worked, she's really working, you know, she's really improved. Another senior. So Bryn Levine... Well, As the puck, that, huh? nice Whoa, backhand wow. by Bryn. Look at that thing, just sitting out front, come on. Looks like we got a penalty. Another penalty on Westwood, a little hook call. Well, I'll say Bryn Levine had a nice backhand there. The rebound came out to Mackenzie Frazier, number 23. She took a quick shot as well, and then, like you said, trip call was at number 19. That was just trying to clear out the zone, Kevin. Yeah, I think so. A little bit of pressure there. Probably a good penalty by Westwood, because I think Mo was about to score. Oh, putting his power line back out there. And we got a little, another change in the lineup, which I have not seen this season. On defense, we have Gottwald, who's been there. And then we have Madison uh, Hogley. Madison Howie. Howie. Sophomore from Mansfield. But she is a Spitfire, I believe. So, you know, they got quite the line out. Oh, that was a dangerous pass right there. Well, it looks like uh, the coaching staff and Moa looking to move this thing up to three zip. If you can here early in the third, uh, early in the second period. That would be a good move. These are all club players out there right now. Luciano will bring into the zone after a pass, a pass from Gottwald. Gottwald take it into the corner. She has Chandler out front along with Feeney. Chandler sends it to Feeney, ends up in Luciano's stick in the corner. Luciano sends it back to Gottwald. Gottwald's gonna take a ripper, goes wide right. Feeney will chase along with Howie. Look at Lu this. Luci Luciano Look at picks Luciano it up. Luciano's stick. Wow. Wow. That was a good opportunity of bouncing puck out front there, Kevin. It was. And that was another great save by the Westwood goalie who's uh, really earning her money tonight. Yeah, Carol as I mentioned earlier, Caroline McDonough, freshman, having a great game. Luciano, Feeney, Shantler up front, as it was earlier with Howie and Gottwald on the defensive end. Again, Haley Dalton, number one, the goalie in the net. Back to Gottwald. Gottwald, Feeney. Feeney behind the net to Chandler. Luciano's out in front. Back to Feeney. Feeney sends it over to Gottwald. Gottwald ships it in. Oh. Big goal there. Big goal. Right, they were working. I mean, those girls right there. All club players. There isn't a line in this, you know, there isn't five players in this league that can match that line right there. I'd agree, Kevin, and what they did there, they actually executed, which doesn't happen all that much um, in this league. They executed very efficiently on the power play. They worked the puck around, uh, they were patient, they didn't take the shot if they didn't have it, and uh, breaking to the net was, uh, and I'm sure, did Jamie score that goal, Kevin? I, can, I believe so. I think it came, I think it came from, uh, Maybe Feeney to... Well, that's going to be an offside. There it is. We'll wait for the announcement, but... I think Luciano might have fed her... Uh, I think she might have fed her from behind the net. Jamie broke in from that uh, point, and I think we talked about it earlier in the in the broadcast here that you've got to use the points. That's true. It's true. And uh, there you go. I'm back to the point. And again, I like that move by the... Uh, more coaches to utilize the strong, uh, one of the strongest players in the league, Jamie Gottwald, at the point, right, to be able to collect that puck and get it on net. 
an offensive minded defensive player when she plays defense. Yeah. So we're looking at 3 0 here, 11 56 left in the second period. Moa will roll with the line of, looks like Gottwald at center. Number, yeah. number 18, Ali Delano, a freshman. To her, to her right, and Mackenzie oh. Frazier, another freshman to oh. her left. Dangerous pass out front there. And on defense, Frazier and number 28, Lizzie Miller. There we go. There we go. Looks like, looks like, looks like uh, Galba got hooked all the way down. I don't know if they, they're going to call on offsides here, but she definitely got hooked. Slowing her down, but uh, we'll have a faceoff. What just uh, where'd you go off this face off, Kevin? Just short. outside, just outside this outside the Westwood zone. We have shortened the bench a little bit here uh, midway through the th second period. Yeah, we have. Um, Luciano's back out there. With Bubensic and, and Feeney. Luciano, Lu Luciano just and Feeney in the corner working again. Luciano will replace her in the corner. Feeney take it to the slot, sends it in wide left. Bubensic sends it around to Luciano. Luciano fight in the corner along with number 20, Danae Rieger. Luciano and Rieger still battling. Puck pops out and Moa comes away with it. Luciano will take it, send it, centers it, but uh, can't get picked up. Luciano will pick up herself. Oh, Actually, that's just okay. missed it. Still in the zone. Good work here by the Moa team, keeping the puck in the zone. Kevin, we've been here again for quite a while. Luciano will take the puck behind the net. So fiddle and diddle. She is and the stick handler. Sends it up to the point. Actually, Shannon Griffin. Oh, tell you to what, that one. Shannon Griffin with the with just you know just trying to get it to, towards the net, like you said earlier, and Feeney was almost able to put that in. I think you'll see an icing right there. Probably I mean, look like everybody was tired of the ice there. Yeah, they, need, they needed a change. Westwood really yeah. needed a change. So 10 minutes left here in the second period. Moa Warriors with a commanding lead, three to nothing over the Westwood Warriors. Excuse me, the Westwood Wolverines. No lead is safe in this league. You know, they can score quickly. You know, Moa has to keep it up, and the coaching staff over there is doing a great job tonight. Let's just hope they keep reminding them. Well, like I said, I'll just quick mention of the coaches for the Mansfield Oliver Ol Rams Foxborough Warriors team. Head coach Mike Dalton. His assistance coach, coaches are Roy Bain and Bruce Levine. Uh, all three great coaches doing a great job with the girls this year. Everyone's having a lot of fun, Kevin. Yes, and I will say that Roy has been with the organization since, since its inception. Uh, he really puts his time, does not have a daughter on the team. Uh, he is there for every game, every practice, every bus ride. You couldn't ask anything more from him. Great, yeah. And of course, everyone, I think, uh, on this, uh, the coaching staff volunteers their time. Uh, so we always want to give them a special thanks for time, effort, and uh, all the work they do with our, with our daughters. Quick breakout here by Levine, number four. That, right? Oh, wow, that was a nice shot. Kevin, what that was was a quick shot. I didn't think she was going to shoot. I thought she was going to pass it. She let it rip. Goalie made a quick save. Uh, but if that was a little lower, that would have been a five-hole goal. That sure would. And I think I mentioned it earlier. You know what? She is the uh, little spark plug on this team. They all, they all feed off Bryn. So we'll have Gottwald take the centering duties here with uh, Hoey to her right. And Mackenzie Fraser to her left. Griffin tries to keep it in. Ooh, Can't. Westwood has numbers. Dene what a play, though. Danae Re Rieger getting it back out to Jamie Gottwald. Number 14 she takes a shot, goes high over the net. Griffin tries to send it back in the corner. Nice pass. Oh, I don't know how Jamie Gottwell got that shot off, but she did. Nice, nice job to get uh, her stick on that. Traffic in front. You saw that shot from the point. Yeah, it was a good shot by number 20, Danae Rieger. She could probably one. do it again. Big screen out there. Oh, quick whistle, Kevin, for sure. 
Well, um, that puck was not tied up, Bill. Very disappointed in that whistle. I know there was a lot going on, but look at that. The ref's picking it up from outside the dot. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, the, he blew the whistle uh, um, quite early. Actually, I don't even think she even had, the goalie had her glove down, but uh, nonetheless, we'll get a face off to the right of the Westwood goalie. It looks like it's Jamie Gottwald. This line's still out here. Gottwald, Hoey, and Frazier with Rieger and Griffin on defense. I like that combination of uh, have the senior Griffin with the freshman Rieger. There we go, look at this. Oh, there's a trip. And they let that one go, surprises me. Yeah, I was very, I'm very surprised because she oh, definitely got tripped. Wow, come on, but that was a tough change. It's a tough change on Jamie Gottwald right there. She didn't uh, get off the ice quick enough. She got off the uh, ice, but it was in the offensive zone, and uh, I think she should have stayed back for that one. Luciano at center ice here, along with Feeney trying to break it up. Goes into the mower zone, and... Skate with that. She got some open ice. Yep, Griffin has some time and space here. Sends up to Luciano on the boards. Gets broken up by the ref, Kevin. Um, and... Get an offsides call. I so. Westwood, uh, the Westwood gate was open and players were coming off the ice, and unfortunately, or fortunately for us over here at MOA, that was uh, offsides. A little sloppy here last couple of minutes, Kevin, on both both teams, just trying to, you know, get back into the groove here. Westwood working hard to get on the board, and MOA not make it easy for them. Another icing by Westwood. So that puck will come all the way down to the right of the goalie McDonough for Westwood. Actually, going to go to the left. And Moa will have the line of Feeney, Chantler, Luciano up front. And number 28, Lizzie Miller and Danae Rager on defense. Feeney will take it behind the net. Luciano will go out front with Bubensic in the slot. Feeney sends it back to Luciano behind the net. Westwood picks it up. Go over to Feeney. Feeney behind the net. I'd like to see her feed one of these D. Look at them all alone out there. Feeney will take it to the top of the circle. Shoot it over to Luciano. Luciano can't collect it. Bubensic chases it to the corner. Sends it back to Luciano. Luciano and Bubensic both battling for it. Feeney waiting for the puck. It comes back out to Feeney behind the net. Feeney with a nice move. Back to Luciano. And Luciano sends it to Feeney behind the net. Feeney looking for Bubensic, can't quite get it to her. Tick tock, tick tock, right? We're even That's right. Clock away right here. Miller and Frazier on defense. She's Number like to see her feed Miller. Miller's got her, she's ready to go. She's got the stick ready. She's ready for that shot. Miller a junior, Frazier a senior on defense. Moa Whoa, with the puck in front of the net. Front. And Westwood's able to clear, clear the zone, Kevin. They, they got him, they just got to turn and get it right back in. We're in the neutral zone here. Sent back in by Frazier, number 19, the senior from Foxborough. Westwood rolls another line. Westwood trying to break it out, and they do. Westwood's got a decent breakout. Just once they get into the MOA zone, they really don't have uh, uh, much of a, they don't really do much with the puck once they get in the zone, but they do break out well. Nice pass by Levine to Chandler. Sure was. Chandler behind the net. Levine battles, goes down. Chandler picks it up. She has number five out front, Christina O'Connell. Chandler Levine playing catch behind the net. Good battle here. Chandler will come in to help out Levine. Chandler takes it to the corner. Two shifts in a row where these forwards are just keeping it pinned in. Kevin, I know the time, the, the time of, of the puck in the Westwood zone here is uh, is tremendous for Moa. Right back in. Denae Rieger, Dene Rieger sends it in. Jimmy Gottwald right on it. Gottwald beats her to the puck. In the corner, battling. She has Howie out front. Howie will chase it in the corner, number 21, senior from Mansfield. Sent it back to Frazier, Mackenzie Frazier, freshman. Defense is going to get there. Oh. Gottwald keeps it alive. Frazier takes it in the corner. Gottwald in front of the net. Now Gawal picks it up behind the net. Ooh, looks like a little trip there, but uh, they're letting him play out there tonight. They're letting him play, which I'm, I'm all for. Yeah, I'm with you, Kevin. No need. We've had a couple of games where uh, 
the refs have, like you said, controlled the game. In this case, they're let, letting them play for sure. She needs a turn, get that right out of the zone. That's it. Right, look at that. Here we go. Oh. Defense needs to step up and limit those shots, as we've been talking about all night. Feeney with the puck. Nice oh, breakout. Oh, Bubetsik, Break away. Number oh. eight wide open. Seems to get the shot off. Brings it back in. Puck is on the net, I think. Luciano jams it home. Actually, that Luciano did push that in the net after the Bubensic shot, but the ref had definitely already blown the whistle and waved it off. That was a rolling puck that she really just couldn't get her. She couldn't get her stick on. It just got put out in front of her just a little bit. Uh, and un unfortunately, Bubensic couldn't get couldn't catch up to it. And what happened there, the puck was kind of jammed between the net and the goalie, and uh, again, Luciano stuffed it home, but uh, I guess it was tied up. Bubensic, um, nice pass coming out of the zone to Bubensic. I'm not sure where that came from, but it was a great pass. Looks like a, another penalty on Westwood. How did Bubensic get so open up here at the blue line? That was the pass came out of the mower zone. Um, a little breakdown on the Westwood. They were probably trying to put some pressure on uh, the Mansfield, the Moa goalie and got caught uh, in the zone. Well, that was another hooking call. I believe the third one. You know, Bill, you've watched a lot of hockey. Hooking is caused by typically when, a, you know, you get a little lazier, you get beat, you get the hook up, you get the stick up, and you get the hook. You're right, Kevin. And then when you see a team doing that, nice shot by Cartwell from the point. When you see, um, and by the way, that's probably one of the best shots in the league right there, Jamie Gottwall. She can really let it rip from the point. I think that goalie's kind of glad it got tipped up and over her head. Um, but you're, you're right, though. Um, when you see a lot of hooks, not only are they tired, sometimes uh, just getting beat consistently. You, you need to do something to stop uh, the other team. A foot race here. Gottwall, the number three from West, where Jamie will win the race, take it behind the net. Chantler and Luciano and Feeney all on the breakout here. Feeney will take it. Nice pass by Feeney to Luciano. Luciano. Luciano will skate it through up to Chandler. Chandler sends it back to Luciano. What a great pass. And the puck Whoa. in. That trickled in. It went in, Kevin. Um, it did trickle that way. Really great pass by Chandler to Luciano. And in front of the net. Hey, well, I will say, I gotta give it to the coaches. That's that power play we talked of earlier. Uh, you know, putting Jamie and uh, putting Jamie back there on the uh, point along with... Did, well, did, did, uh, they been have a Danae Rieger out there we or... Madison out there. Yeah, Madison and Howie. Madison Howie. Uh, that was at club team. And, and it paid dividends twice tonight, though. Yeah, and you know what? And it it um, it was kind of nice to watch because when the team does plays well on the power play, it, it just shows that they're uh, uh, they know what they're doing and they're and they're well coached. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I like that play. They just if you saw that, Kevin, everything was going towards the net. All five players from over were going towards the net, and there was nothing the goalie could do. Well, unfortunately, we don't have. The benefit of replay on that one, but I think you'll see all five players touch the puck on that. I, I would agree, Kevin. You, were you going to say there all five players touched the puck on that play on the breakout? Yeah. Every all five. It was really great to watch. And what I like even more is you Shanley getting that puck coming into the zone with her head up and looking. Okay, I could take it to the net or I could slide it over to the other player, and she did that. And uh, unselfish play is going to win the day every day. Number 20, uh, Danae Rieger with the penalty. She's a freshman from Foxborough. I think that was a hook, Bill. So, so Fox, Foxborough, I mean, uh, the Moa Warriors would be on their first uh, penalty kill of the game. Excuse me, on their first. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a second. We have two penalties here, so. Unfortunately, uh, there's, a, there's a delayed call right now, and that one again is on Jamie Gottwald, I think, for her physical. I disagree with the call. 
but uh, I think they're going to call it on Jamie. Again, we talked about it earlier. She plays physical. These refs don't see it. And I, and I believe the reason being is I don't think they, they ref those uh, club games when it does get a little physical. So, you know, as you mentioned, she needs to change her style because uh, that one could be costly. You know, two men now. Uh, you, you're right, Kevin, and I, I watched the play there, and you and I have watched a lot of uh, club play, and that would not be a situation, uh, that would not be a penalty in other leagues, but here it is, and unfortunately she'll be uh, in the box here, and it looks like the refs trying to figure out what they're going to do with two penalties, so it'll be a five on three, Westwood advantage here on the power play, so. I don't know why he's calling them off, I don't understand that, I mean, uh. Well, Luke Boa still has three kids on the four kids on the ice. It should only have three. Right. So they probably have to pull one of these players off, and they do. They'll take off uh, number 28, Lizzie Miller, the defenseman. They'll leave on the ice, and I can't see that far. Um, we're gonna have uh, Lily Feeney, Catherine Luciano, and number 19, number 19, uh, Taylor Frazier. Oh, well, that's outside the zone. So if, uh, the goal was scored. The uh, Fourth goal was scored by Kathy Luciano, you assisted. Just need ice this. Nothing fancy. There you go. Look at that. Oh, one bouncing. Moa just trying to keep that puck in front of them here. A nice job. Out right, of the zone. right to Frazier. Frazier tries to kick it out. Westwood keeps it in. Five on three here for another 32 seconds. Then it'll go to uh, five on four. We for just cleared it out again, Bill. Right. Again, the ice. Uh, and, that. Nice. and Westwood just really can't get anything going here, Ke Kevin, on the on the five on three, which sometimes is hard to do if you're, you're not used to being on a five on three. Nice play there by number 16, Chandler. Chandler, Ch and she's going to get a shot off, I believe. Well, oh. behind the net, as I said earlier, tick 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 tock, right? Let's kill a little of that clock. I'll tell you, Kevin. They killed off the first one. Nice play by number 17. Griffin tried to get it out, but just stopped at the at the blue line. 18 seconds left on the second penalty uh, to Moa. And we back to full strength shortly. Puck still in the zone, though. Nice play by Bringe. You gotta get it out there. You have to get that out. There you go, there Kevin. You go. So a little that was a successful yes. five on three. Uh, Penalty kill, very nice job by uh, Moa. Uh, we'll, they're going to roll out quickly here. Gottwald in the last 30 seconds came came strictly came off of the uh, out of the oh, penalty box. Oh. Oh. Gottwald, quick shot, and she'll keep it again. Gottwald got oh. the shot off. She backhands it out in front of the net. Howie with the shot. Pressure's on right now, Bill. Wester just trying to get it out of the zone. Nine seconds left. Put. Just sit on that. Let's go into the third period. Well, great period, Kevin. I would say, um, based on the first uh, six games for the Mansfield, all the Reigns, Foxborough Warriors, that was the best two periods they played in a row. I will say that was a complete game. Limited the shots, which we said was one of the key to the games. Limit those shots and get shots off. And I think they did both. And it looks like what to do here in between periods, they'll clean the ice. And we'll be back uh, to you guys with third period action with uh, Mansfield, Olive Reigns, Foxborough Warriors up four to nothing over the Westwood Wolverines. My, my head's bigger. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Uh, do you want to play? I'm sorry. <laughs> that was There we go, Bill. Looks like they kicked off. Welcome back to third period action here. Moa, the commanding 4 0 lead. Westwood on the defensive here right away, Kevin, in the third period, just where we left off in the second period. A big shot from the point there, too, which uh, we had talked about earlier. There's Gawald out front. Quick shot blocked by the Westwood goalie. Gawald sends it back behind the net. For Frazier. And Taylor Frazier sends it back to his sister, Mackenzie Frazier. 
Always fun to play with a sibling on the team, a freshman and a soft, a freshman and a senior. Oh, that sure is. That's a thrill of a lifetime. Nice shot by Taylor Frazier from the point. Ooh. I hate to see a, someone crash into the boards that way. So they got to get on that puck. I don't know what's going on there. Frazier will send it out of the zone. And yeah, picked up by Luciano in the neutral zone. She'll bring it in. Broken up by the Westwood player, but back to Feeney. Feeney will take it to the slot. She has Luciano in the corner. She'll take it. South takes a shot high left. Oh, almost hit that top left corner. It was open there for a second. She saw it. She went for it. Goalie actually covered up. Nice play by the goalie. Um, Bubensic tries to keep it in. And number 17, the senior, Griffith, sends it around the corner to Luciano. Luciano will pick it up. She sees Bubensic, sends it to Bubensic, a little in front of her, she can't collect it. And into the neutral zone. Danae Rieger and Griffith trying to keep that puck away from the goalie. Oh, I think that was a goal, Billy. You know, I don't uh, know, it seemed like it bounced out. Did they hit the inside of the post and bounce out? I don't know, they're calling it a goal. Well, it looked like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think it was a goal, but they're gonna, uh, they're going to, uh, they're going to call it a goal, and that'll make it 4-1 to one here. 13-18 left in the third period. Westwood uh, breaking the ice, so to say, and getting on the board. Yeah, we got to keep the pressure on here. This isn't time to let up. See, that goal, I, Kevin, it came out so fast. He like it hit the post and bounced out, but uh, the ref was a lot closer than we were. He sure was. He had a better view of it, but, uh, again, we really need to keep the pressure up. You don't want him to get another quick one here. Moa's got to get back to play in their game. That'll be Frazier on defense here with. Billy, I think we got away with one there. I saw a little bit of a trip that uh, they got away with. Moa got away with one there, I'll say. I, I agree. Gottwald back on the ice here. Oh. That's Griffith sending it in the zone. Looks like an icing call there, Belt. All the way down and no, nope. oh, wave that one off. What's the goal scored by Kara Hodges, number five? Have to be careful here. here comes, They're really forechecking this Westwood team. Here comes Danae Rager. Everyone, I was going to say, everyone was able to stay on size here, but it wasn't. Someone actually just took a step into the zone. And we'll get a face-off, looks like just outside the westward zone to the right. And Frazier to the left. Howie to the right with Gottwald at center. Griffith and Rieger on defense. We're still looking at Haley Dalton in net here, Kevin. I didn't even check. I didn't check myself. Oh, oh we got a little bit of a hand pass here. Uh, my thought is it is, but I can't really see the back of her jersey. Right, I just... Um, wasn't sure if maybe they made a switch for the third period here. We'll check in a second. Oh, oh it's, no, it's still number one there. That's hey. Haley Dalton. She's played a heck of a game. She really has. Really has played a great game. But again, I got to give it to the defense. Playing a little shorthanded without uh, Jen Dooley and doing a fine job limiting shots, and they need to keep that up. Well, I always like to see the underclassmen uh, getting some ice time here in important games in the middle of the season because you'll need them next year. Sure will. Someone's got to pick that stick up. So, so Rieger, Howie, and looks like Feeney on the ice right now up front. Feeney will try to break it up at center ice. Can't get it done. But she'll chase with Howie. Howie clears the zone. Oh. And we'll play it down for Westwood, Bill. A little shaken up. It was uh, incidental contact out there at center ice. So Kevin, now that we're in the third period, you, as you mentioned earlier, what a great crowd uh, for this game. The stands are probably three quarters full and a lot of um, black, green, and white, the colors of the MOA Warriors team, black, green, white, and, and orange. Uh, a lot of uh, teachers wear, wearing their respective player shirts. One of my favorite nights, I can tell you that. You really get the teachers out, you get them in a different environment. Um, and it's great to see him. And I know we have uh, at least two of the admin uh, the ADs here from, uh, I know we have, uh, I, I spoke to Mr. Bill Matthews uh, out of Easton, and I see Mansfield's ADs here, and uh, I'm not too sure about Foxborough. 
Um, I don't see the Foxborough AD here, uh, Caitlin Brown. But it's great to have them here as well. This program uh, really got a big boost when Foxborough joined us. Not only good athletes, good people, good school, and uh, it was a well-needed boost. Well, you know, Kevin, this league is very competitive, and you need um, you need a good, solid two, three lines to play in this league every night. So, Westwood seems like a little more energy here in the third period, Kevin. Yeah, that that goal kind of sparked them. That goal sparked them. We need, really need to silence that by, and the only way to do that is to is to put a goal in ourselves and. Uh, Get back to a four goal lead. Puck pops out and Westwood clears it through the neutral zone. Frazier's going to chase it into the mower zone, send it up on the boards to Feeney. Feeney will zip it up to Bryn Levine, get a quick change. Get that ice. You got to be careful there. You know, with that puck's close to the ice, they almost had too many men on the ice. Uh, and they got away with one there, luckily. That's right. The oncoming player alertly stepped back in. I mean, four to one. I mean, in this league, we've seen goal. We see goal scores in bunches, so you, it's never really a safe lead. No. No. All, all teams know how fast uh, these kids can score on both sides of the puck. Number five, Christina O'Connell, bringing it in on her own, center it nicely, but just behind Bryn Levine, broken up by Chandler. But Westwood possess, gets the puck, goes through the neutral zone, brings it into the Moa zone. Nice play by. Griffith to break it up. Yeah, we we kind of got lucky on that one because uh, she was standing still. You know, that, that is a forward's dream when they see the, uh, the defenseman standing still. Yeah, but uh, a good move. She was able to use her stick and break that up. O'Connell with the rush, take it all the way in. Oh, going right down there. Oh, just missed it. It would have been nice to see her get to the puck because she came in hard. Uh, O'Connell gets the puck over to, to Gottwall, but not quite out, still in the zone. Danae Rager with a nice play, chips it back in. Gottwell will chase it. She'll chase it behind the net. Probably be able to break it up, and she does. Controls the puck behind the net. Nice job by Gottwald. Yeah. Fraser will help her out. Howie in front of the net, 21 in the slot. Kid. Not many kids are going to push her off the puck in there. Someone did. But it stays in, right? This is what we did in the last two periods. We just right. need to keep it up. Nice play by number 21, Howie, to keep it Get in. It Comes well, back to a quick shot. The senior, Madison Howie, excuse me, the sophomore, Madison Howie, with a nice play. Puck always comes back to you, Kevin, as you notice. You make a nice play on the other side of the ice, and the puck always seems to come back. Puck came back to her in the slot. Nice shot. Westwood goalie made a nice save. Sure was. And she's been playing great tonight. She's been really keeping them in this game. Line change for uh, Moa. We'll go with uh, Feeney and Luciano and Bubensic. Luciano will Grab the puck on the Feeney win on the faceoff. Feeney sends it back to Luciano up front. Little battle. Both players go down. Chased in by Bubensic along with Feeney. Luciano well, I don't know about you. I hate to see that rough stuff along the boards. Uh, you know, I hate seeing a kid going in sliding against those boards. Well, because, yeah, only, only bad things can happen. So. Oh, nice, nice pass, pass out front. Great play right there. Great save. Westwood D to D here. Yeah, some good movement. Nice play right there. I tell you. That was that was number eight, Emily uh, Heather Bubensic on that play. Oh, she a, she used know, her body and pushed her right out sure of there. Sure did. Right? Sure did. She used it legally, too. Feeney will dump it in. We'll get a change. Luciano and Bubensic go off. Feeney will stay on for a second here and chase it into the corner. Feeney shoots it, goes wide left. That was a bouncing puck, too. Yo. Goalie looked. Well, Feeney knows. Look at that. Wow. Feeney Just knows you just get it towards the net, Kevin, right? And that was a nice play by Feeney. She put it towards the net and then headed off the ice and the change. Nice play by Lily Feeney. And that was Intabel, Isabel Chant Chantier right there who uh, almost put, put one home. You know, and that was a bang bang play, too. It, didn't, it just came out of nowhere. And nice play by Chandler. Chandler uh, seems to always know where to be on the ice, I Izzy. She's really good at uh, uh, positioning. You know what to do. turn and push her sideways. Wow. What a play. Nice save by Haley Dalton. Puck came at her pretty hard. Another save. Big rebound. Westwood picks it up. And the backhander. No goal. No goal. We got to, you know, they're, they're getting sloppy right now. Let's ice it, get a change. They just keep, you know. This is the biggest flurry of the, of the game for sure Dalton. Is. Look at that. And she did well. Dalton stand up, uh, stood up well there. Three shots on net in that little. Uh, and those were uh, tough little flurry. shots. Little flurry. It was a good job by the goalie, uh, Chandler. And uh, as you can see here, most of the teams going over to give uh, Dalton 
a quick tap on the pads here to say nice job. We so don't, we don't want him to get another goal. That'll breathe a little life in him. So seven minutes, 12 seconds left in the game. Four oh, to here one. We go. Look at this. Moa. Nice breakout off the boards. Feeder. There we go. Jamie Gottwald is going to go in deep for that one. Might be icing. She was oh. just she was just on the uh, other side of the center ice there. And good thought though, uh, moving that up to to Gottwald, but just just out in front of her. You know, one other quick note on the Moa. This is all volunteers, from the coaches to uh, um, you know all the parents that put their time in to make this all happen. Uh, we can't say enough about what what they do for this program. And it is not a couple of hours, Kevin. As you know, it's a lot of hours. Oh, there's a goal. You know, you we were talking about that. It, it was getting just a tad bit sloppy, and West has been energized by their first goal, and uh, just a good puck movement by Westwood, and uh, defensively, a little bit of a lapse for Moa. So. Um, Mo will roll out uh, Feeney in the middle here. Luciano to her left. Dubensic to her right. And Griffith and Rieger on defense. Puck picked up by Luciano in the corner. She has Dubensic out front. Feeney to the, on the behind the net. Luciano takes the shot. Bounces out. Just out of the reach. Get after that. Just, just out of the reach of Griffith there. And all the way down to... They got Westwood. They got two players on it. They, they smell blood here. They know... Now, transition hockey right there. Look at that. Nice pass by Luciano to Feeney, right? Came out of the yep. zone. Luciano sends it to Feeney. Feeney with a nice move. Feeney sends it back to Bensick. Quick shot. And the save. But, you know, that right there, that was case of point, like you said earlier, on the breakout. We had Griffith. Send it to, Griffith sends it out from the zone to Luciano on the board. Sends it to Feeney at center ice. Feeney takes it in and slides it over to Bensick. Four out of the five players touching the puck in, in less than 10 seconds. Yep, and they got a quality shot right there. That's right, quality shot for sure. Feeney on the faceoff here, she wins it again. She'll take the quick shot, goes wide left. Luciano will chase into the corner, probably come back to the point. She does to Griffith. Griffith will send it back to Luciano in the corner. Can't quite control it, sends it over to Bubensic. Bubensic, nice pass to the center. And here comes Westwood on the breakout. Today, Rager steps up and breaks it up, but still in the zone. Oh, that was a dangerous shot. Another one. Wow. Oh, that puck was in the crease, uh, just in front of the crease in the blue area, Kevin, and it rolled through, I think. Uh, I think Griffith might have actually just knocked it out of the uh, out of the blue area, saving a goal. Would have made it 4-3 with less than six minutes to go in the game. Well, I, I would like to see the Moa coaching staff really call a timeout and settle these kids down. It's still a two-goal lead, but uh, I, I see Moa getting a little sloppy. I you agree. Know, but some of their big guns, too, which uh, surprises me. So right now we'll have Chandler on the ice, along with number five, Christina O'Connell, up front with Bryn Levine. Oh. Quick shot by Chandler. I think Chandler was surprised as to how open she was there, Kevin, right? Yeah. The puck was on her stick saying, oh boy, I got some net here. It's a nice, quick shot that the goalie made a nice save on. You know, I think you see her grab her head there. I think she wanted to go a little lower. She yeah. saw five hole on that one and just yeah. got it up just a little bit too high. So yeah, nice play again. As I said earlier, Chandler's always in the right position. Puck uh, came to her. Uh, nice play by Levine to get it to her. Back to Frazier into the corner. Chandler will take it around and back into the corner. Zips it over to uh, Christina O'Connell. Levine will chase. Can't quite keep it in. Just Fr turn and get that out of the zone. Number 28, Lizzie Miller trying to backhand it out. Can't quite get it done, but stays on the puck. Westwood with possession behind the net. Puck pops out. Dangerous area. Sure is. It's just sitting there. And and a quick goal. So that was just a case, Kevin, of, of um, Westwood just being tenacious, right, and getting on the puck and making sure they continue to put the puck on net. I think so. I think so. And again, I would like to, oh, there you go. There's so a timeout. They called that timeout we spoke about. 
This team still has a one goal lead. Little over four minutes left. Uh, you know, I, I, I think they can really hold them off here. You know, we are, we're going to have that got wall line out there now. We can get a minute out of them. We get a good, strong minute out of uh, this, the, the, the next line with uh, Lily Feeney and uh, Kathleen Luciano. Uh, Bubensic. Bubensic. Yeah. You know, we're going to be at the two-minute mark, and then it's just uh, play hard and get a goal. Well, while we have a break again, we'll mention the coaches. Uh, Coach Mike Dalton with his assistants, uh, Roy Bain and Bruce Levine, doing a good job. Good, well timed timeout here. As Kevin mentioned, 4 10 left in the game. It's 4 to 3. Um, Moa needs to uh, regroup and, you know, keep the puck in front of them. And One other coach built, uh, Meg Bernier, I think you forgot to mention. Uh, okay. Meg handles the defense. She does a great job. Uh, and she's been with us for several years. Well, great. Yeah. Shout out to Meg Bernier. I see her working the door right now. And I know she goes to all the practices. Um, We'll make a quick mention as to um, the goal scorers so far today. We have uh, Bryn Levine with a goal assisted by Griffith. Feeney with a goal assisted by Luciano and Taylor Frazier. Gottwald with a goal assisted by Luciano and Feeney. And Luciano with a goal assisted by Chantler. We have Gottwald on the center. She wins it and takes it into the sideboard right in front of the penalty box. Westwood comes away with it and brings it in. Feeney will battle for it. Feeney the sends us there. Nice play by Feeney to send that back into the zone. I'd like to see only one four checker here, Bill. I'd agree with you, Kevin, right? Let's keep it in front of us. All right, we got two deep right now. That was uh, Frazier. Sends it back to Luciano when the shot gets blocked at the point. Just keep it in deep. You see what's going on here? They have Luciano and Feeney playing defense along with Frazier. And Gottwald and Howie up front. Luciano will send it back Got in. No stick. Gottwald has no stick, so that's uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Gottwald will head off, and well, a uh, good good timing for the whistle. Got a slash here on Westwood. That's a oh no, I believe that's a tough call right now. Oh, it's ma could it be matching? I'm not too sure. No, it's Mackenzie Frazier. Um, not a good, not a good time to take a penalty by number 23. You need to be smarter than that at this point um, in the game. 3:20 left. You do not want to. Um, what you really don't want to do, Kevin, too, is you notice here we have Luciano, Feeney, Levine, and Chandler on the ice. Got what was just on there. So what you're going to do is now because you have the penalty, you're going to have to use those folks in the penalty kill, and they'll be dog tired at the end of the game if you want to have them on the game. To, to run a forward line as well. So that's a, um, a slash, as you know, um, a penalty that's un unnecessary at this point in the game. I sure do. So you got to keep your wits about you right now. And uh, it's be interesting to see who, uh, who Coach Dalton puts out there for this penalty kill. Face off is in our zone. That's right, 320 left, Kevin. Um, Minute 30 at this late in the game is really uh, hard, like I said, because that penalty kill unit is going to have to go off the ice and rest. None of those players will be available in the last, you know, for, for a minute or two. So um, you have to be very, you have to be very smart about who you have on the ice. So who are we going with here, Kev? We have, uh, we have Gottwald. Okay, face off, face off to the to the left of uh, the the Warrior goalie Haley Dalton, controlled by Moa. Lizzie Miller, number 20, with battle for in the corner. Westwood comes away with it, but right to Gottwald, and Gottwald alertly clears that puck all the way down. Nice play, good way to start the penalty One in kill. Shanla with nice work One in there. speed on her. One in deep. There you go, Gottwald, knew, uh, knowing where to be. Clock there, but unfortunately, he's been picked up by Westwood. That looks like offsides to me. There you go. Nice, nice play by Gawal to get the puck up to Chandler. Chandler will take it in the zone, try to send it through. Can't quite get through, but nice job. And every uh, the clock is ticking quickly here, which is great. Picked up by Feeney in the zone, the slot. Ooh, takes a, little, a quick shot. Oh, caught right corner. I'll tell you one, what, Billy. Feeney is a sniper. She saw that. Luciano will keep it in the zone. Luciano will take it in the corner. I'd this, like to see her tie it up out back, but I'm uh, Nice play by... Uh, uh, by Moa to keep that puck in. Luciano will keep the puck, so skate with it. She'll go back in the corner, kill the penalty. Good job. 28 seconds left on that penalty. 
Just keep that in deep. Luciano keeps it in with, and Feeney picks it up. Nice play by Feeney. Feeney has the opening. He has part. Oh, nice shot. So I'll tell you what, this, this penalty kill turned into a decent offensive opportunity for Moa. Maybe it can spark a little life in him because we got a little, a little more than two minutes, two minutes and eight seconds. Uh, we got 18 left on the penalty now. We got to stay focused. All right, so we'll have Luciano to the left, Feeney take the face off. We'll have uh, Danae Rieger on the left defense and number 28, Lizzie Miller over to the right. Lizzie Miller's pretty deep, playing well, it's a good spot for her. Wouldn't doubt uh, if we get below, you know, a minute 30 that West would pose their goalie. 18 seconds left on the penalty. Uh, Feeney wins the faceoff, takes the shot. Luciano in the corner. West will break it out in the neutral zone. Need some back here, though. Nice play by the freshman, number 20, Rieger, to break that up. Two seconds left in the penalty. Moa back to full strength. Luciano on the ground, breaks it up. Here comes the extra man to help out. To their feet. Westwood controls the puck. Nice pass by Westwood in the middle. Just but sitting out front, Bill. Nice. Yeah, nice clear by Feeney. And it goes all the way down. They wave it off. Great play. Minute 31 left in this Jamie game. Jamie in deep. Good oh. work by Gottwald to get to the puck. Battling all by herself down there. Has Levine out front. Jamie takes the backhand and tied up by the Westwood goalie. Westwood goalie's played well today. Sure Kevin has, Bill. She's kept him in the game. You know, I can't even estimate how many shots she's had. So uh, a nice battle here between two teams that have very similar records. I'll just remind the, the fans here. Um, Westwood is three wins, three losses in the league. Three wins, four losses overall. Uh, Moa is two wins, three, wi three losses in the league, and three, four, and one overall. So very closely matched here. Every win's important. As Kevin mentioned earlier, you need to get to 10 wins on the season to get to postseason. So every win, very, very important. Gottwald wins the faceoff. Puck comes into Levine. Levine battling up down below. A minute 13 left in the game. Oh. Gottwald, nice play again. Nervous that's about that one. They didn't call it. Those are the ones that she gets called on. Again, being a big, strong girl over there, I get a little nervous on that one, but uh, we lucked out on that one. Let me change the defensive pair here. Let's see who they put out. They're going to go with the freshman. Today, Rieger from Foxborough, and they'll go with the junior, Lizzie Miller, from Mansfield. Levine will chase it, Kevin. Here comes Westwood on the breakout. Not quite, though. On Keep Ma it in their zone. It'll be tough to pull that goalie. Madison Hoey, nice job. Number 21, sophomore. Oh, there we go. Kept the puck alive. And here comes Gottwald in the neutral zone. Picked up by Hoey. Number 21, sends it center. Goes all the way down to the corner. I only 41 want to see seconds one in left. There. 40 seconds left, Kevin. Yeah. Luciano's back in, along with Hoey and Chandler. Just tie it up along those boards. Rieger on D, along with Well, they with waved off Miller. that ice. That's a big call. They're going to pull the goalie, Kevin. West is going to come by with six on five here. Oh, I saw a check along the boards, but they let that one oh, go. Oh, nice play by Luciano to break that up. And Luciano will pick it up on the other side of the, of the ice and send it up to... We've got offsides here. Just get it out of the zone. Don't do anything funny with it. Nine Atta seconds. Girl, right? Up to Feeney. Nice move by Feeney. Keep it alive. She'll take it all the way in. That should be it. Empty net. Feeney will shoot it. Oh, oh my goodness. Feeney with the open net shoots it just over the top. But uh, great play by uh, Moe to get that puck up to Feeney. A nice shot by Feeney to go over the net. But uh, Kevin, it was really enjoyable here. One of uh, the best games I've seen this season out of this Moe team. And as we spoke earlier, they're really coming together. Yep, on Teacher Appreciation Night, uh, the crowd's really into it, giving their team a, a big cheer. I'll uh, make quick mention, uh, thank you to Chris Brolin for running the camera for us from Foxborough. Did a great job. Kevin Gottwald from Oliver Ames Easton, and um, Bill Luciano will recap again the scoring here. It was 4-3, to three, uh, Moa with the victory. Uh, Bryn Levine with the first goal in the first period, assisted by Griffith. Feeney with the second goal, assisted by Luciano and Taylor Frazier in the first period. Gottwald with the third goal, assisted by Luciano and Feeney in the third period. Excuse me, the second period. Luciano assisted by Chandler for the fourth goal in the second period. So uh, Westwood came roaring back. Kevin, it was 4-1 four four, uh, going into the, th into the third period. and ended up being a 4-3 battle. Yeah, they dug themselves too big of a hole, which is, uh, is okay by, uh, by my standards. And uh, again, thanks, guys. Pleasure doing the game with you, and Thanks we'll for having see me. you next time.